We have been discussing about genetics. Where we discussed about aneuploidy, then Downer syndrome, and now here we will be discussing about the trisomy in general. Like Downer syndrome, Edwards syndrome, and Patau syndrome. And also we will be discussing about why Downer syndrome occurs more frequently than other two trisomies. So let's get started. First of all, we know Downer syndrome is also called as trisomy 21. Then Edwards syndrome is the trisomy 18. And finally, the Patau syndrome is the trisomy 13. The Downer syndrome occurs more frequently or we can say it's more common than Edwards syndrome, which is less common. And finally, we have Patau syndrome, which is very rare trisomy that occurs in humans. Furthermore, if we talk about the frequency of these genetic disorders, then Downer syndrome occurs 1 in 1000 individuals. Then Edwards syndrome occurs 1 in 5000 individuals. And we have Patau syndrome, which occurs one in 16,000 individuals, which is very rare. We know all the three are trisomy genetic disorders, which means Downer syndrome has three copies of 21st chromosome in the cell instead of two. In the same way, Edwards syndrome has three copies of 18th chromosome in the cell, and Patau syndrome has three copies of 13th chromosome in the cell. Sometimes only a part of extra chromosome occurs also, that way also leads to the trisomy. Remember it. So the first question is how these trisomies are the genetic disorder? What does problem the three copies pose in the cell? It all depends upon the dosage compensation. Simply we can say dosage compensation is disrupted by the extra copy of chromosome within the cell. Because there is overexpression of genes from the trisomies. Now if you look at the Downer syndrome, only few genes are overexpressed. That means it's less lethal. Then in Edwards syndrome, more genes are overexpressed than Downer syndrome. That means it's more lethal than Down syndrome and it has very less survival rates. And finally we have Patau syndrome where large number of genes are overexpressed so it's most lethal of all the three trisomies and has almost negligible survival rates. Now it's obvious to know why less genes are overexpressed in Down syndrome and most of the genes are expressed in Patau syndrome. The answer lies in the size of chromosome. Among 22 autosomes, the 21st chromosome is the smallest chromosome in our body. And also remember, chromosomes are arranged or named according to their size. So by that way, the first chromosome is the largest or biggest chromosome in our body. While as 22nd autosome should be the smallest, but it isn't. Rather than that, 21st is the smallest. It's because first it was considered that 22nd is the smallest chromosome. But now it has been proven that 21st is the smallest chromosome. But naming has been kept the same after knowing that 21st is the smallest in order to avoid the confusion. So if we order the three trisomies according to the chromosome size, the 21st chromosome is the smallest, 18th is the bigger than 21st and 13th is the largest of all. Now let's analyze the data which will give us an insight how many genes on 21st, 18th and 13th chromosome are present. The 21st chromosome has got 48 million base pairs. The 18th chromosome has got 80 million base pairs and 13th chromosome has got 114 million base pairs. And furthermore, we see the 21st chromosome has got 256 protein coding genes and 356 non-protein coding genes. 18th chromosome has got 285 protein coding genes with 432 non-protein coding genes. And 13th chromosome has got 343 protein coding genes and 622 non-protein coding genes. Now if we analyze this data, we see the 21st chromosome that is the smallest chromosome has got less number of genes than 18th and 13th chromosome. So only few genes will be affected in dosage compensation disruption if 21st trisomy occurs. While as if 13th trisomy occurs that way, large number of genes will be affected because of its bigger size. So it's obvious that less genes are involved in dosage compensation disruption of trisomy 21st because less genes are overexpressed because of its smaller size. That's the reason the Downer syndrome is very common because only few genes are affected. And when we see the Edwards syndrome, more genes are involved in the dosage compensation disruption due to its bigger size than 21st chromosome. And with this overexpression or affecting more genes, the Edwards syndrome is less common than Downer syndrome. Now finally in Patau syndrome, large number of genes are affected in the dosage compensation disruption because of its bigger size. So more genes are affected than 21st and 18th trisomy. That's the reason Patau syndrome is very rare. 
So this is all about trisomy and why some trisomies are common and why some are rare. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.